Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again, back with some more Valheim. In the past days, I went on an adventure once again to search for some very awesome seeds to share with you guys, and today, I did it. I found the ultimate seed, which has pretty much a perfect island on it. It's a very small island that contains every single biome in the game. It has some very beautiful fueling camps, scripts for iron. Oh boy, you will be able to find everything you need right here, including the trader. So yes, you can tell that this one is perfect, but I also have another very awesome seed to share with you guys as bonus, which contains an extremely small trader island right next to the spawn on a black forest with a lot of adventure, a lot of stuff to explore. So guys, let's get right to it. All right, so first off, it would be very much appreciated if you could just hit that like button for a second as it takes quite some time to search for these seeds. If you enjoy watching my content, it would be also very awesome to have you aboard. So make sure to subscribe for more Valheim content. It really helps me out a lot, guys. Cheers. All right, so guys, here we are. When we open up our map right here, you won't be able to see anything too fancy right off the bat. But when we scroll a little bit down to the southeast, you will find a very small island right there, not too far from the spawn. It has a pretty cool shape, but at the same time, you can already see that it contains every single biome in the game. You have a small mountain peak right there. You have the plains surrounding the black forest and the meadows. And then you also have a little swamp area. But if you are hungry for more iron, you can also sail to this part. Boy, oh boy, there is so much to do. So when you approach the island, you'll be able to see a river that passes right through the island, which is very beautiful. If you follow the river upstream, you can also find the trader in the exact middle of the island. This island has one of the most beautiful generated hills, which make up for an awesome scenery. A small part of the meadows is elevated to a very high altitude, which makes up for a beautiful hunting grounds. And yes, you can also find a little beehive right there. And if we go downhill a little bit in the meadows, you will be able to find the Draugr village right there next to the coast, which is also a beautiful scenery. Flying back over this piece of meadows, of course, we can see a little plains popping up. But then we also have this little fueling camp, which is right in front of the mountain. This one includes flags, but also many enemies to deal with. So you'll be able to get your hands on tons and tons of black metal. The mountain peak is small, but it still has a breathtaking viewpoint, which allows you to spot the other side of the island. Even though it's a very small island, you will still find all the adventure and treasure you need right here. A little bit further, the plains borders with the swamp, and at this very point, we will be able to find another fueling camp. So that's the third one already, and this contains both barley and flax. You can also find some other treasure in here, which is great stuff. We've got some gug, some shipwrecks for firewood. And of course, it's always nice to have some mob spawners around as well. I mean, endless entrails and bones, who doesn't like this? But if we scroll a little bit further into the swamp, guys, you can also find a couple of dungeons. Sunken crypts, my favorite. For iron farming, oh boy, these are really nice. So if we open the map right now, you'll be able to see that we're currently in the southern part of the island. So this one is divided by the plains. And then, of course, we get back into the black forest, which is the place where I recommend you guys to build your very own base. If you're still looking for the Elder, well, its stone can be found right here as well. In this black forest, you will also be able to find some very well hidden crypts. And if you're fancy dancing with the trolls, well, you'll be able to find a cave very close to the trader. Alright, so there you have it, a very small yet extremely resourceful island which has pretty much everything you need. If you're going to settle down on this island, I think the most beautiful place to do that is right here, where the river runs right through it. Not only is the river very useful to get to the other side of the island, but it's also extremely handy to unload at your docks if you place one right there. Alright, that's it for seat numero uno. On to the second one. I think many of you guys are going to appreciate this one as it is very safe and cozy. Alright, so here we are at the spawn. If we open up the map for a second, you'll be able to see that we spawn on a very large starting area. But if we zoom out a little bit, You'll be able to see that we have a very small black forest island right here, which also has a trader positioned at the coast. What's really nice about this little island is that you will also be able to find a very small kraken island right next to it. So if you're taking the boat, well, you will probably also encounter this one, which is ideal to farm for some chitin. 
So when you finally reach the shores of this island, you'll be able to see that it is pretty small as well. But that doesn't mean there is nothing to it. I mean, there is so much stuff to do, so much adventure and things to explore, from multiple troll caves to clearing different great dwarf camps. You can even find some treasure here and there, but I'm not gonna reveal all these locations to you guys. I guess you just wanna know where the trader is located. So if you open up the map, it will be located on the east side. And if we zoom out a little bit, it will be positioned exactly like so in comparison with the spot. All right, so guys, there you have it. Two very awesome new seeds to check out. One with a extremely nice island, which has pretty much everything you need on a pretty small scale, but then also an extremely small Black Forest Island right next to the spawn with the trader. And of course, a lot of stuff to explore right there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely make sure to hit that like button if you did. And of course, leave in the comments down below if you want to see more seeds or other guides in Valheim. For now, it is 4am out. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.